cut on this stack is going to be to make this first cut, and I'll slide it against the fence. So it comes right in here. Probably could have made it a little bit less tight. But anyway, I'm ready to go. I can drop a router on here and make my three cuts. Right? And then I slide this guy over and I take my next part and do the same. So I'm, I'm batching parts. And now, when I need to, I do my other end cuts. I turn it around the other direction. See, now it's going the opposite direction. Flip my fingers over. Same thing. Run everything that has an arrow going to the right. I run those end cuts all at the same time. Now, what about the middle cuts? This is where Intelligent Fixings would say, take your jig, re, re, uh, you know, redirect, basically take the fence off, clamp this down. It's, it's a really, you know, it's a, it's a lot of extra steps. So what I recommend and what I'm, what I do is I actually would leave this exactly where it is. And all you have to do then is remove the fence. You don't have to remove your stops. You don't have to take it off the, um, you don't have to take it from being clamped on your bench. And now I would set it where it needs to be. And that's where, especially using a bench clamp, would come in. So using a six inch bench clamp by Craig um, with the Seneca uh, base. Definitely clamp this guy up. And you've got a lot of clamping force with this. I'm able to then clamp it down. This is what it looks like, clamp, clamp, intermediate clamp, this goes where you need it. Even if the board's way out here and you're struggling, you can still turn your clamp and, wow, this, that clamp is on there big time. Anyway, it's not going anywhere. I hope this is helpful. I know that this is a good jig. Um, but if you don't fixture it right, uh, I think it's a little tedious to use, so.